just can't be. They're not ready, I tell you. It's not the time. You said only after... <laughs> Everyone, uh, someone would like to speak with you all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Under's very first variety act. This is gonna be the least put together act of the evening. Yours truly, hanging it down, thank you. It's already been a giant disaster. I had planned out for there to be a band here for you and anything, but they quit on me last minute, so quickly, you all up there, let's go, you're the band now. Come on, up here we go. That's right, everyone take it over there. We've only got one song on the set list today. It's gonna be a great one. We've got it. Come on, you two, that's right, get up here on the stage. We're gonna live like rock stars, that's right. Now you're a part of the variety act as well. Has everyone got it? Ooh, golden beer. Yeah, Dale's golden beer. Thank you to the rock star who did this one. Here we go. Okay, quickly, quickly, before our time is up, everyone get ready. We're good. Here we go. Ready? A five, a six, a five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I said one, two, three, take your hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really wanna make you mine. You look so fine that I really wanna make you mine. Four, five, six, come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need money with a face like that, do you, honey? Big black boots, do -dum -dum. long brown hair, ba -dum -dum. she's so sweet with her jet black stare. I could see, but do -do -do -do. you home with me, ba -do 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 -do. but you were with another man, yeah. I know we ain't got do -do much to say, but do -do -do -do. before I let you get away. I said, are you gonna be my mask? We said, big black boots, long brown hair. She's so sweet with her jet black stare. I could see you home with me, but do do do, but you were with another man. Yeah, I know we ain't got do do much to say, but do 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 before I let you get away. Boom 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 boom. I got a secret for you all right now. You all are my mask. That's right. Doom, 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 doom. That's right. You all are a rock star. Give yourself a round of snaps and quickly steal everything and get off the stage before it. they know it's us. To take everything you can. Steal it all. Steal everything you can. Take it off the stage. We don't want them to know it's us. There you go. There you go. We'll, we'll get this when the next the next act comes. You just don't, don't say anything. You just leave them down like that. You all, you all have been absolutely great. You're true, truly true rock stars here. You all. Amazing work. You, 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 you're great. All right, quickly. Now, everyone, act natural. I'll see you later. I'm Trash Kitty here, <laughs> ready to have a little bit of a dance party with you guys. What do you think? I don't know. Should we go on stage? Woo! Who wants to dance up here with me, hmm? Shake
shake it off a little bit before the next act comes on? What do you think? Who's gonna join me? Should we have a little bit of a competition? Just a really quick one, what do you guys say? <laughs> mm, mm. How about you? Come up here with me. <gasps> yes! And then how about you guys? Will you guys be our audience? We need a couple audience members. Mm, 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 mm. You know how to dance, right? You gotta follow an eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How about the cage? <gasps> Go! Dance for us! Mm. What do you guys think? Woo! You're killing it up there! <laughs> Come back down. <gasps> what about you? You ready for a little dance? Woo! Mm. I love this. Shake it out. Woo! <laughs> you ready to come back? <gasps> How do you guys think they did? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. I think it's your turn. Woo! Work that magic up there. Five, six, seven, eight! One, two, three, four. Ready to come back down? How do you guys think they did? <laughs> Snaps for mask over here, the chevron mask. Do you think they were our best dancer? Crab mask number one. Crab mask number two? I don't know. Hmm. Sounds to me like you're a winner. <gasps> Dance. Oh, we're working up a sweat. How about some wet food? You gotta keep your energy up. Oh, you guys are great. Mmm. Mm, mm. Now before I have to go, you guys gotta play your own band now. Woo. Find the objects and play. And you gotta get ready for your next stage act. I can't take too much time. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much for dancing with me. Keep your energy up for your next performer, okay? I love you guys. Do not be alarmed. Oh God. Oh God. I ask this preemptively oh. hey, because I have an announcement. And I know uh, that an announcement whoa, whoa. can sometimes create the feeling um, of apprehension. So, when I say I have an announcement, uh, take it hey, in stride. So, uh, just want to let you know. I have an announcement. Hey, Would friends, the owner uh, or owners you know. of hey, a white station uh, wagon Rickles. please okay. report uh, to the parking lot? Your lights are and, on. Uh, I'll go on and I repeat, go ahead and do my stage would the owner or owners oh, you know, of a white back, station MC. wagon yes, please report to the parking them. lot? Uh, Your lights are on, so much. and said, you, know, you might you want to act, turn like them that. off. Even I have no, prior no big deal. We're having fun. Amazing how things Fun's work having out like us. That, right? And right, we've friends, all had enough so, uh, of this in, announcement. And I'll be bringing you some 
Oh god, some jokes! Okay, here we go! <clears throat> Wait, did someone in here just picture a blue banana? Are you picturing a blue banana right now? Stop, stop picturing a blue banana. Wipe the blue banana from your mind's eye. The rules of the under clearly stipulate that when someone in the vicinity imagines a blue banana, this guest is granted permission to perform. Why would anyone picture a blue banana? I told myself, it'll never happen. I said, alas, please welcome the following guest. All right, hey everyone, welcome. Uh, so, all right, a big round of applause for our MC. <laughs> Who has trusted me with this awesome responsibility? All right, so, uh, yeah, like I said, have a stage act now. And, uh, well, um, I figured, you know, because uh, taking inspiration from tours of the past, I would go ahead and, uh, you know, spruce up the tour with some jokes. So here I am to share them with you all today. Whew. <clears throat> you know, by the way, um, maybe I could get a volunteer to help me out, you know, with, uh, you know, some, some drum stingers. Oh, hey, excellent. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Come on up, my friend. Uh, please, by all means. Hey! Oh, where'd they go? Where's my friend in the wings? Hey, there they are, everybody! Awesome! All right! All right, so, uh, my friend Chevron here is going to be taking care of the kit. So if you want to take your place behind the drums, and, uh, oh, let's, oh, I know. Um, hey, let's practice with the joke. You know, uh, they say that onion masks are some of the most, uh, you know, complex masks. You know, the, the, the sprites that wear them, they got the most going on. Uh, you know why that is, don't you? <laughs> well, they have layers, of course. Hit it! Hey, alright! Alright, <laughs> alright, we're off to a good start there. Hey, you really like that, that rose you got there. You know, that reminds me, I was hanging out with my good friend, uh, uh, Dasha Prima Ballerina, and we were riding bikes, and you know, she said, well, hey, why are you lagging so far behind? And I said, you're gonna have to pedal faster. Hey, all right, all right, all right. Um, hey, you know what? Uh, I gotta say, went over to the Sashimi Mimi's place for dinner, but... You know, I, I didn't enjoy it. I gotta say, it was it didn't live up to expectations. You see, all they served was well, it was wet food. Huh? Yeah, sashimi mimis. You know, they're the fish. Um, yeah. Uh, so you know, uh, gotta say the uh, the thing about uh, that some some folks in the under they they get a little you know they kind of get nervous or they're they're trying to like they're like oh hurry up or like you know they're like. What you know, get nervous and and you see those people. The problem with that is they just get they get edgy. Huh? 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 All right. Yeah. Ah. Hey. You know. You know what a musician's favorite uh, book is? Anyone? Anyone? Yeah. It's a. It's a notebook. Hey. All right. All right. And uh, you know, I, I gotta say, um, really hope that everybody, uh, you know, after this, you know, really hope. Everyone, when they come on the store, they, they still give me two thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there we go. Sorry, all right. Oh, whew. All right, um, so, like I said, you know, like so many things with the tour, bit of a, you know, work in progress for us all, but I really appreciate it. Could you do me a favor? Um, could you just, um, does my shirt feel damp to you? Does it feel a little, does it feel damp? Do I look a little damp? Okay, I just feel like I am just swimming right now. I, I mean, it is so hot. Are these spots, oh, oh, it's so bright. Oh my goodness. I gotta say, I feel like I'm gonna faint. Oh, thanks, thumbs up to you too. Oh, oh. Hey, uh, well now it's time for the uh, audience participation uh, part of the gig. Uh, if you, you bring me a prop and I'll make a joke. Oh, oh, here we go. Hey, you know, maybe you met that, that guy, Dale. You know, he sure keeps a lot of things uh, bottled up. Huh? Hey, all right. All right, cool. Oh, oh, this thing. 
Oh, golden salt shaker. Oh boy. You know, every once in a while I put someone in the cage and you know what? They just get so salty. Hey, alright, alright. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know what they say about a, a poison apple, right? <laughs> apple a day keeps the keeps you in the island's bay. Hey, alright, alright, alright. Alright, friends, any more, any more? Huh? One last one, one last one, come on. Oh, alright! <laughs> you know, I gotta say, every once in a while on the tour, I'm just going through and I'm explaining all the details, and sometimes people will turn to me and they'll just say, Hey, Rickles, can it? Hey, alright! Oh, sorry, do that one more time, one more time. There it is, alright, next to work! Alright, friends, uh, that's all the time I've got for today. Remember to swing by the tour. It's so great to see some of my some of my major uh, friends from the tour here. It's great to see y'all, and hope everyone takes care. Big round of applause for Chevron. All right, thanks so much. Really appreciate you. All right, thanks, friends. And uh, all right, awesome. So long, people. And uh, uh, let's see, let's see if we got someone waiting for you. You bet. All right, friends. Uh, just got my producer just uh, spoke, uh, and according to to them, that we've got a few more acts coming on the way. So strap in. You know, make yourself comfortable on that sandy bank, as the MC likes to say, and uh, enjoy. All right, we'll be uh, we'll be there soon. Thanks so much, everybody. I'm gonna go uh, pass out. I think. All right. See ya, friends. a companion in this haze, someone to help me find the way. Guess I'm supposed to be doing that for you all, but even I get a little... Yeah, that. But oh, wait a sec, who's up next again? What luck! Our next guest is a satin-voiced soothsayer, sure to commiserate and liberate, and friends, I've got goosebumps just thinking about saying his name. Allow me to introduce you to the one, the only, the undeniably very handsome, Mr. Ronald Pete. We 
saw the fear in each other's face and wished we were home by the fireplace. Oh, I was blind when I left her fall running down to the bone. And I'm crying out now. That this foe's left me alone We had traded tools From mother ships No compass or map Could prepare for this We thought we'd be safe From the stormy skies But we were headless Hopeless and our spirits died Allow me to now, uh, well, please welcome someone with very unique and charming handwriting, which is nevertheless legible, someone with the guts and grit to persuade the sweeper to let them write and submit their own note card, apparently, against all agreed upon procedures. And we will speak about this later, sweeper. Ha <laughs> ha, it's fine. Please welcome the very ballsy mystery guest. Oh, MC, dear, don't play coy now. <laughs> yes, I got it. Bye. It's Catania von Mousetrap, and he knows very well. <laughs> oh, my goodness, dears. Oh, hello. Darlings, I haven't seen some of you in ages. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. It is so lovely to see you. I can't even begin. <laughs> oh, yes. And you too, my dear new friend. Hello. Oh, oh I'm in a tizzy now. <clears throat> anyway, as they say, the show must go on. And here we go. Uh, this little number, my friends, is called Attention, Please. And uh, snap along if you'd like. <clears throat> You've got something I want, yes, something I need. Just give a little here and I'll keep you company. What's that? You don't know what I mean. Attention, that's all I ask of you. Just your attention keeps my heart from turning blue. And can I mention, your love is all I need. Please, baby, yeah. Ooh, oh, hello, dears. Oh, I am, I'm floating in the abyss. I'm floating, oh, there we are. I'm sorry, dear, I just, it's hard to come back down to earth after seeing your face. <laughs> yes, no, you stop it, no, you. Oh, my dear. Darling, this place must be a museum because you are a work of art. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. No, I'm blushing. No, no you're blushing. No, I'm blushing. <laughs> oh, oh, my darling, sweetheart, uh, uh, do you have an extra heart by chance? Oh, you do? Oh, good, because um, mine seems to have been stolen. <laughs> oh, you all are so cute. Let's bring it on home, shall we, darlings? <clears throat> That's something I want. That's something I need. I know you've got enough, so give it to me, please. What's that? You know what I mean. Attention. Oh, thank 
you, darling. Thank you so much. No, roses for you all. Roses for you. Oh, sweethearts. Oh, it is a pleasure to perform for you all, as always. Now, sit tight, everyone. The next act is coming up. You have my love. It's wonderful to see you all. Ta-ta, dears. Kisses. Ta-ta. You know that one cousin you do anything to avoid, but who you have to book at your exotemporal performance venue because otherwise your aunt wouldn't let your mother hear the last of it and you'd regret you were ever born? Well, this next act is something like that, only we're thankfully in no way related. He's just always been like that cousin to me. Give a tolerant underwelcome to... Apple Pie Bundy and friends. Good evening, everybody. My name is Apple Pie Bundy, and I'm the world's foremost manipulator of talking dogs. I perform for kings, queens, captains of industry, and like tonight, beautiful, young, smiling, fresh-faced, wonderfully dressed audiences such as yourself. What's been going on with Apple Pie Bundy since my last show? Well, I'll tell you what's been going on. <laughs> I'm lucky enough to own a farm. That's right, me. Everyone's favorite city boy, a farm. You know it. Recently, I met a guy. Farmer Shaky. You might have heard of him. He's the town's rotten egg farmer. Well, he's getting on in years, and he decided to sell his farm to me. Didn't cost nothing. Well, I bet that's him walk up. Well, I bet that's him knocking around in the trunk right now. Let's go say hi to him. Hey, wait a second. You're not Farmer Shaky. You're damn right I'm not Farmer Shaky. And you freaking you. You're damn right I'm not Farmer Shaky. And you can forget about ever talking to him again. I apologize, everybody. This is Farmer Shaky's noisy son, Dumpling. Dumpling, is there a reason you heaved yourself off your sofa to bother me tonight? I want these people to know that you're nothing but a two-bit thief. He's always wanted my family's farm, this thief, and he'd always stop at nothing to get it. Oh, you... Dumpling, your father sold that farm to me fair and square. I just love those rotten eggs, and you know it. You don't love those rotten eggs, but he's like every two-bit con artist with dollars in his mind. Ugh. You're like every other two-bit con artist with dollar signs in his eyes. I care about those beautiful rotten eggs. My family cares. All you've ever wanted are those rotten eggs for yourself. Now listen, Dumpling, I'm a nice guy, but I'm a farm owner now. 
And because of that, I don't need to put up with your stuff anymore. You don't need to put up with my stuff! He doesn't care about sharing the rotten eggs with the children! He doesn't care about going to the hospital and passing out farm-fresh rotten eggs to all the new mothers! He doesn't care to share what God has given this land! These eggs mean a lot to me. You stop it right there! Here's what you don't understand about my eggs! You've never worked in the land, you've never put your blood, sweat, and tears into it! I have. I have, and I have an understanding with the eggs. That's right, the eggs. The eggs have promised to protect me as long as I protect them. What are you talking about, Dumpling? You're crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy at all. Here they come. I can feel the eggs. They've come to save themselves. The eggs! The eggs, they're here! Oh, nothing gets rotten eggs out of your suit. I want to apologize for Farmer Dumpling's behavior, everybody. He's a very sad, sick person, and he can't stand the fact that I own that farm fair and square. Ugh. Good night, everybody! Good night! Now, our next act is here to remind us that just because you're a gill-bearing, aquatic craniate who lacks limbs with flexible digits, that sure as hell doesn't mean you can't dance. Please, put your fins together for the Sashimi Mimis! I guess that being a guild-bearing aquatic craniate who lacks limbs with flexible digits also doesn't preclude you from getting a little bit of stage fright. Let's remind the Mimis what a warm crowd we've got out here tonight by throwing our fins together with a little extra vigor. You can do it! Sashimi Mimis! I have a surprise for you. I don't usually do this, but you've been exceptionally amusing to me. All that wandering around and observing. Ha! Charming. I thought perhaps you might enjoy a little attention. Please welcome our next guest. Hey, everybody! It's me, Leroy! Yay! <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. I see we've got a hard drinking crowd tonight. That's great because I'm a magician and the more you drink, the better the magic is. That's right. <laughs> 
All right, my friends. Well, I'm here to astound and amaze you tonight, but of course I seem to be missing something. I think I am missing uh, an assistant. Oh, thank you, my friend. An assistant who here has always dreamed of coming on stage and performing with an amazing magician. You back there, yes? Would you like to be my assistant? Yes, fantastic! <laughs> All right, whoa, you're a tall one there. All right, come on out and introduce yourself. Come on here. Here we go, my friends. I'd like you to meet my amazing assistant, Bob. Bob, everybody. Say hello to Bob, everyone, the amazing magical assistant. Now, for my first act, I am going to transport Bob to that cave over there. Yes, and I'm going to do this by saying the magic words and doing the magic movement. So let's all do the magic movement together. It's like this. We wave our arms like so. Hello, welcome to the show. And I say abracadabra, so here we go. Abracadabra! Ah. I seem to have teleported myself up here. I mean, yes! <laughs> I fooled you! I have teleported myself. <laughs> Let me just get back to the stage. Abra Kadabra. Ah. Uh, Bob, Bob, why don't you try and uh, and uh, teleport me? Uh, you give it a try. Everybody, your attention to Bob. Bob, do the magic movement. Abra Kadabra. Oh, it worked. Bob. Wow, that was really, really good, Bob. That was very, that was very good. You're, uh, you're, you're quite good at this, actually. Is that, that's, uh... Right, well, on with the show, on with the show, on with the show. All right, Bob, I need you to pick someone from the audience who feels like they could challenge me in a magic off. Yes, yes, who could do it, Bob? Who will it be? You right there in the front? Yes? Absolutely. Come on up on stage, my friend. Come on up on stage. <laughs> there you are. This fool has decided to challenge Leroy the Amazing to a magic competition. Here's what we will do. I will conjure an object, and then you will try and conjure that same object. Then you will give me an object to conjure, and I will conjure it. That's right. Bob has seen me do this many times, and I have never been beaten. That's right. Are you ready, my friend? Are you ready for this? I'm going to conjure an onion. Oh, well, I see. Th that seems quite easy for you. All right, my friend, you, you conjure something and I, I will conjure it. Okay, here we go. What are they going to do, audience? Oh, a beach ball. That's quite good. Here we go. Beach ball. Beach ball coming up right now. Beach ball. Bob, is that a beach ball? No. No, it's an onion, isn't it? It is! Of course it is! Onions! That's all I can actually conjure! Onions! Yeah! That's it! It's a big joke! <laughs> I have to admit something to you guys! Not actually a very good magician, Bob. I'm sorry. You know, you decided to be an assistant. <laughs> You know, I think onions pretty cool, right? Not everyone, I mean, everyone here can conjure onions, but... Oh, I don't know if I can even go on. Oh, guys. Oh, is that for me? Oh, thank you. No, I'm going to get fat. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Tony. You're just mocking me now with the onions. Bob, I don't know. Should I go on with the show, Bob? Yeah? Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's good. He's gonna drown my sorrows. All right, all right, folks. Thank you. Thank you to our amazing uh, winner. You get a beach ball! Yes! Thank you! Yes! Well done! There you go! Thank you so much! All right, for my final act, I am going to make Bob disappear! Yes! That's right! Here we go! I am going to make Bob disappear! Here we go, Abracadabra! Oh, it worked! 
That's amazing. Amazing. Thank you all. Thank you all so much. I've been Leroy. Give it up for your next performer. I hope you have a good night. Sean Spada, everyone. Now this next song I'd like to do is when it's about when you may find yourself in a situation.
shit, 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 shit. Next up on the understage, we have a special visitor who wants to make you the star of their act. Please welcome them to the understage. some hiccups we got going on here but um I, and I know that you're probably I, you're probably all thinking the same thing what are you doing up there Francine I thought you were gonna sit, you weren't gonna get on stage again until your sister was back but you see I'm not gonna sing yeah I know I know I'm gonna actually do a ventriloquist act <laughs> so if I now I'm just been practicing I'm hoping it's good but um uh, so I'm gonna need me a volunteer Okay, there we go, right there, up you get, hello, hi. Um, so I, I'm going to give you one of these thingies here. 
All right, so if you could hold that there, and um, yeah, well, um, I got to tell my assistant here something in private. Okay, so this is an inanimate object, and because I'm doing ventriloquism, we got to make it look like it's an animate object, right? So you got to animate it, okay? You got it? Okay, good. All right. Hi there, everybody. This is my friend, Sir Laptop. Hello. Hello, Francine. Hello, everybody. Good to be here. Good to be here. Ah, the internet. Where men are men, women are men, and children are the FBI. <laughs> you get it? Because you never know what's on the other side, <laughs> right? Uh, yes, of course, Mr. Laptop. A man using Apple Maps walks into a bar. Or maybe a hotel, or maybe a church. You get it? Because, you know, you're on your laptop and you're like, here, I want you to go to the hotel and you end up in a parking lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Francine, I have a question for you. Well, what's that, Sir Laptop? What do you get when you cross a computer and a lifeguard? I don't know. What do you get when you cross a computer with a lifeguard? A screensaver. Ah, computer screen. Screensaver. Screen. Yes, yes, you got it. I saw this guy today at a Starbucks. No smartphone. He had no tablet. What? He, he had no laptop. You're he, kidding. He was just standing there drinking coffee. Like a psychopath. Cause who does that at a Starbucks, right? I mean, just be an owl. <laughs> why, why did Jack and Jill really go up the hill? I don't know why. To get better Wi-Fi. Ain't that the truth? That's good. Oh. I was very distraught this morning because I realized that me, a laptop, was missing a key. I lost control. What? <laughs> At least I still have caps lock. <laughs> ah, caps lock, preventing login since 1980. Jeez, yep, you know, because you're all like, oh, I can't get in. I think I'm very case sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of Murphy's fifth law of computing. For every action, there's an equal and opposite malfunction. Yup. Yup. It reminds me of number 10. Do you know what number 10 is? No. What's number 10? He who laughs last probably made a backup. Yeah, backup! Raise the roof. <laughs> Why did the laptop get a cold? Oh, I don't know. Why did the laptop get a cold? Because he forgot to close windows. BAM! <laughs> do, you, do you know why the elephant can't use a computer? Why can't an elephant use a computer? Because he's too afraid of the mouse. Oh, mouse! <laughs> I gotta go, but I'll leave you with this. If at first you don't succeed, call it version 1.0. Thank you, Sir Laptop. Smooches, smooches. Smooches, smooches. Thank you so much. You can take Mr. Laptop and go. I just remember he is an actual inanimate object, so, you know, what have you. All right, so um, I'm probably going to need me, what, another um volunteer? Anybody? Anybody volunteer? Yes, come on upstage. Yeah, all right, just stand here to my right. That would be nice. Okay, yes, lovely. And I'm going to make you one of these fabulous things um one of these fabulous things here right and then um you can take that that is a little broccoli there and you know what i'm gonna do is i'm, I'm gonna um make it a little bit bigger because you know uh, or maybe you can make it a little bit bigger for me can you do that good Just a little, yes there we go okay so um i just i have to tell my assistant a little You've got one too. Okay, so I have to tell you that, you know, as you know, this is an inanimate object. So, um, you want to make it look real. Okay, you got that? Okay, good. All right. Hello, Mr. Broccoli. Hey, 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 Francine. Hey, everybody. Well, you know, when it comes to broccoli, size matters. So, thanks for making me big. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, this guy in chaps walks into a bar with a piece of broccoli. 
Really? Are we in chaps? Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to finish it. This is a family show. Okay. All right. Oh, my God! All right. Did you know that I'm the first vegetable kung fu master? No, really? That's right. My martial arts name is Brock Lee. <laughs> kung fu fight. All right. All right. What do you call... A scary movie about vegetables. What do you call a scary movie about vegetables? The Broccoli Horror Picture Show. Ah! Uh... <laughs> hey, forget about it. What's the difference between broccoli and snot? Oh my god, what is the difference between broccoli and snot? Kids don't eat broccoli. Exactly! All right, brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. Francine, I hate to do this to you, but I gotta share a real... A real sad story. Oh no, what happened? Yeah. There was there were these two broccoli friends and they were walking down the street. Uh-huh. Minding their own business. Uh-huh. A car runs over one of them. Oh <gasps> no! He doesn't kill it, but he's near dead. <gasps> they get him to the hospital. And the doctor comes out and meets the injured broccoli's friend, the uninjured one, in the waiting room. And he says, All right, pal. I got some good news and I got some bad news. All right. Well, the good news is, your friend, he's gonna live. Yay! Oh my god! Hold on, hold on tight. The bad news is, he's gonna be a vegetable. Gonna be a vegetable! <laughs> Can you hear me? Alright, alright. What do you, what do you call a broccoli that becomes a ghost? I don't know, what do you call a broccoli that becomes a ghost? Cauliflower. Cauliflower! <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you. That's all I got, folks. I'm gonna move on out of here. I'm gonna go knock a few cold ones back at the salad bar. <laughs> I love you. I'll be here all week. Try to wait to skip the beat. Yeah! <laughs> wow, that is so pretty. Thank you so much. You're all finished here. Um, that's it for me. I'm, I'm out, but the, uh, there's, I'm sure there's a whole lot more. Thank you for your patience and... I lost a bet to this next act some years ago, and have been having to book him ever since. I suspected foul play. But every party needs a pooper, so roll up your sleeves and welcome Apple Pie Bundy and friends. Good evening, everybody. My name is Apple Pie Bundy the world's foremost manipulator of talking dolls. I've performed for kings, queens, captains of industry, presidents, and, well, beautiful, smiling audiences such as yourself. Ugh. You know, sometimes in this world, we end up talking to people we don't want to. Sometimes those people can be very old. 
So I always like to check in with my young nephew, Bino Chio, to get a perspective that we all need in this life. Come on, Bino Chio, come out here.